Guys, remind me to not to do coffee cup reading when I have this cloth on next time, okay? I couldn't take it if I have to wash it, so I have to deal with this thing, I'm sorry. I hope that you will not just like focus on that thing quite a lot. It's just irritating, I know I am also irritated, but I'm gonna make a small reading right now because I feel like Hmm, what I feel like is like I have to focus on what might actually happen this week. I'm just going to focus on this week. I'm not going to focus on like a long-term situation. And uh, let me prepare a couple of cards beforehand. And then I actually start to do the reading. Okay, now we have three. Let me cover it here for a second. And I am also going to put my runes. So you can pick from my runes. Number one has the blank one. Hmm, it's like full. So this is number two. And number three. So this is number one, number two, and number three. Okay, pick one and let's start it. Hello number one, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at what might actually happen in this week. And I'm just going to focus on this week. I'm not going to focus on anything else. And it's going to be a general reading. As much as possible, I will try to see. This is the empty room. If you didn't know, like, there's always like an empty room in every room set. And it talks about like the possibilities and the good start and hope. It's basically like full could be really good i'm already too excited for it let's see what might happen king of cups dealings with a mature man isolation five of pentacles dealings with a mature man with isolation hmm intriguing four of wands house celebration having fun with the people that you love and the king of swords. Okay, you have two kings. All right, two kings. Oh, I ha I have a feeling, and I I'm gonna just dwell on it for a second. If you don't mind me. What it could be about? You might expect it to pick a side from the people you love the most. It could be like mom or dad. Pick one, or like dad or other dad or it's like mom or other mom which one choose wisely <laughs> because there's like a you're going to feel like you are in the middle of everything that you don't want to be in the middle of everything two people might have a disagreement when they might actually ask you to pick a side and you don't want to do it because it's unnecessary and it's not your business you don't want to deal with those kind of things but you have to because they asked you to do it so you have to draw your line quite clear this week you have to be like yes or no like no maybe okay you have to be like so specific at the things that you are speaking about you have to be clear as much as possible like you have to be like an open book but this open book is not to everyone to touch okay you have to be honest but no one should just question what you kind of think of no one, you know, since because you think of something, no one should have this audacity to question what you are thinking. You have to be in this position of like, I know what I am going to do and no one has any kind of a business about it. When it comes to the disagreements with two different people, it could be like, I don't put me in it. Don't, don't, don't say that to me. It's not my job. It's not my business. Sometimes parents are doing that quite a lot unfortunately and since because there's king of swords i have to tell you, it could be like a parental situation we were talking jenny about like the parents and how they can be strange sometimes and i'm expecting like a huge really beautiful reading from her if it didn't happen already and you know Im Im immature people can turn into like the parents and they can just like pull you from situation to situation that you don't want to feel you don't want to get involved and they just expect you to be the grown-up at some point so you might feel a little isolated at your own family unit because of this draw however since because we saw this empty room 
it says quite a lot, isn't it? You're gonna be the winner. No one but you. If you just draw your line quite well, no one is gonna touch you, no one is gonna harm you, no one is gonna just expect things from you that they shouldn't expect. You're gonna be okay and the others are just gonna be like, eh, they're not gonna be like that okay maybe, but you are gonna be okay. You might feel a little alone at the house for a while, but it is not going to have like a long-term effect on your life. And I like this. So let's just look at the Lenormand for a second. I wasn't gonna do this, but why the hell not? Why the hell not? Let's see what is going to happen this week. Heart. Hmm. Interesting. But you know, it doesn't have to be like a love related situation. It could be like, um, could be like some someone close to your heart. Let's just focus on that way. Someone who is close to your heart might actually expect the things that they shouldn't expect. Yeah. They are just like focusing on their own agenda. They're not thinking of your own emotions. They have different kind of agendas. They have different kind of thoughts. And they might actually question your understanding of judgment. Or, you know, if you are fair or not, if you're just like right or wrong. They're, they're going to question your thoughts for a second. But don't let them. Don't let them to do it. Don't let their agenda to just crush your integrity, okay? It might be really important. Two people are gonna have the fight and they might actually ask you to pick a side. And if you pick a side, the other one is definitely gonna call you something that is not really right. They're gonna just question your judgment. They're gonna question if you are like a fair person or not. Don't do that. Don't put yourself into that kind of a position. No matter what kind of like a relationship you have with those people, do not pick a side. If you pick a side, you're gonna lose. Don't pick a side. Be a diplomatic person, steal some time, focus on different things and move on. Okay, that's what I saw for you this week. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hey, number two, how's it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at what might happen in this week. So you have Ehuaz and it is talking about the movement. Hmm, something is to happen. Something is to happen in your life. Let's see what it might be. Oh my god, what the hell? Movement, movement. Are you going somewhere? That is such... What the hell? Like... Both of them are talking about like a movement, like going somewhere, traveling. Seven of Wands, okay. Queen of Cups. And the Star. Okay, I see. Look guys, I see a movement and this movement is going to be really effective in your life maybe. This week might be really important. Wherever you go, what kind of places that you are getting in, just be careful. I'm not saying in a bad way. I'm not saying that bad things are going to happen just because you are going to those places. No. What I say is that what kind of decisions that you might have when it comes to traveling to some specific place or going to some specific place might have like a, an, an effect and impact in your life later on. And I say Queen of Cups and the Star, which means like you're going to have this emotional spill and it is a good kind of a spill. You're going to just regulate your own emotions and you might need some time to do so. Maybe it sounds a little, I don't know, it, it, may, it may not be for everybody, but maybe you will go to some place to just like understand yourself, give yourself a little time, deal with your own demons. You might just go somewhere else to just listen to your heart, listen to yourself for a second, to understand what is happening in your life, understand what other people are trying to do, what, what they're just like focusing on and what they might actually expect from you. If you have been dealing with a couple of things in your life, it might change. Not in a way that it's going away forever and now you're free to do what the fuck ever you would like to do, no. In a way that you are not gonna be like so aggressive about it. When it comes to like dealings with other people, like unjust people, unfair people maybe, 
You're not going to be like, I am the victim all the time. You're going to cover your feelings. You're going to feel safe at a certain point in your life. They're going to act on like a specific agenda maybe, but you're not going to take it personally. You're going to take it as like an unjust system in the world. You're not going to just take it, oh, it is just happening to me. Like there was this YouTuber, I'm not going to name any names, but this YouTuber was just like facing a lot of backlash from YouTube itself because this YouTuber was just like trying to get rid of the videos that this YouTuber was putting. And this YouTuber was just thinking that it was only happening to her because she was a trans person. She was just focusing on this narrative of like, YouTube is just hating me because of who I am. And it wasn't. YouTube was just aiming everyone because of the bots. Okay? There was like a time that the bots were just like attacking to the creators, you know, the con content creators. Everyone left to the right, doesn't matter what they're doing. Everyone. I mean, even in the terror community as well. We have seen it, we always see it. I don't know if they're just gonna let me do it because there's a star card and there's like a naked woman. Honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen next. And I think a lot of tarot readers are gonna just agree with me on that. Like YouTube is just like deciding without telling you why they are deciding to do this. And they're calling it guidelines or anything. Okay, it's not the point. What I'm trying to say is that it's happening to everyone, but like you can just take it how you're just proceeding. You might think that it is only happening to you because they hate you personally or what you are, what you're representing. Or you might actually see it as like a general problem that is happening to everyone in all of the communities. You know, it's up to you. So you're going to just look at it from another kind of a perspective and you're not going to feel like this. You're not going to feel to keep up this fortitude 24-7. You're not going to feel like so defensive for your life. So in this week, I think you're going to understand the injustice and what, where it is coming from. And you're going to be able to fix it because you're going to heal yourself. You're going to feel emotionally secure and then you're going to focus on the movement. And when you look at the movement, two movements cards. So it says quite a lot. Honestly, you might change a couple of things in your life. For example, if you're not having a really fun time at your work and you feel like everyone is just attacking you or something is not going really well you may actually walk away i see a walk away and this walk away is really productive and it is really good it's going to change quite a lot of things in your life so i'm not going to say that it is not going to be really strong week at all i think yours might be really really important okay let's see your lenormand cards lilies okay finding peace and harmony later on that is a really good kind of a way and also love friendship and love kindness goodness hmm. okay stars again star oh my god what it is are you going famous or something stars one more and we are gonna be finished and the snake hmm. you see not even bothering yourself not even bothering to explain yourself hold on a second Every time I feel comfortable with the cards and their setup, it's always wrong. How? You're going to see something this week. Who is your friend and who is not? You're going to differentiate the good ones from the bad ones. You're going to be like, okay, I see now. I understand what they're trying to do. I understand why they are just like focusing on this thing. You know, when it comes to dealing with other people, you're going to be really lucky to see the actual things that are not really working. You're going to be able to fix it. You're not going to like defend yourself because somebody is telling you something. You're going to understand why they are telling you those kind of things and you're just going to deal with those kind of things from another kind of a level. For example, if someone is just like lying you over and over and putting you into the positions of like you have to defend yourself all the time, you're going to stop defending yourself. You're going to understand why this person is lying over and over. And you might actually realize that this person is not really healthy mentally and that's why they are doing it. And, they are going, and then you're going to find a way to just deal with this person. It's not like putting yourself into this victim mentality, but just taking an action. Okay, I'm not gonna just do this. What's happening? What's the deal? Tell me what's happening. 
that kind of a thing is really out there in your week and you might actually deal with those kind of people in another level and i see that you're going to be really successful because the chariot and the star is there so it cannot go bad that's what i saw for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next reading bye hello number three how is it going this is gable let me introduce it to you it means gift so this week you might actually receive something that might be really really important for you you're going to receive it and you're going to feel really happy and it is a really good kind of a start but before i say something else about this rune i would like to look at the cards two of pentacles wheel of fortune okay similar energies the fool oh my god what is happening and four of pentacles okay this is like an unexpected situation unexpected something is going to happen and you're going to receive it as a gift gift is unexpected isn't it most of the time gifts are unexpected if you have to order your gift it is not a gift it is like request there's a difference between those two so some people doesn't understand and i have to say it okay it could be related to work you might actually have a promotion or you might have something else at the work it it, it doesn't have to be like a promotion i'm not gonna tell you that it it is definitely like in an advancement it is something amazing is going to happen and you're going to be, no it might happen but it can also mean like you might have a little bit more of a responsibility and this responsibility is going to bring you a lot of management like if you're expecting any kind of an offer or if you're expecting any kind of a promotion it, it is going to happen don't get me wrong however it might require a little bit of like hard work because two and the four are talking about hard work you have to juggle a couple of things at the same time it's like expansion though it sounds like an expansion of something whatever you're doing it is going to expand and this week you might have this chance to expand everything according to your own way like life is going to present you a an opportunity to provide and expand your situation you might have an investment that is going to pay off quite well you might have different kind of an idea to actually put into some kind of a plan and work on it this week there's gonna be like an expansion of like this situation if you're just planning on something it's the time to do with those kind of things deal with those kind of things is it like clear i don't know i'm sorry if it is not clear okay so when it comes to work and money especially about the money you might receive some kind of a money and this money might be really important for you to what are you going to do for the next endeavor I'm not gonna lie to you, Wheel of Fortune and the Fool might talk about like an unexpected money from like lucky events or lucky circumstances. So what it means is that a little bit of like a lottery kind of a feeling. I'm not saying that everyone is gonna win something from lottery, no. But somebody can actually. <laughs> new opportunities, new beginnings, new start on something you have to figure it out by yourself at a moment you have to deal with those kind of things with yourself for a moment there's going to be a success in your life this week but this success is going to make you think a couple of things because those two cards are just like yes it is there's success and investment even like almost like a franchise or something like something is expanding going to another level if you have one thing you will have two things and now but you have to figure it out how you're going to make it and you're going to think about it quite a lot even though life is providing you a lot of good opportunities and everything maybe you're feeling like a little lucky girl you know there's something called lucky girl syndrome i don't know what it is but it sounds like it but you know maybe you will think that life is going to bring you all the good stuff or whatever even though life is bringing you the stuff you are the one who has to deal with those kind of things you are the one who's going to do this management and you have to think a lot of things before you take an action on something you will receive something almost like a gift you have to decide what is going to happen next that's what i'm trying to say and it could be like probably a monetary situation new money new investment like new money i don't know what else it could be 
new money you know normally those two means like somebody who was born rich but i don't see that in here i see like someone is just getting rich out of their endeavors and their luck a little not gonna lie to you luck might be really important you will have this expansion of money you will have this like abundance you will have the abundance that's the word i'm looking for but how can i forget about it expansion and abundance you will have this like opportunity to do whatever you would like to do next you will have this time to yourself to prepare yourself for another thing this money is going to help you to plan the things according to your own management but there's going to be a lot of thinking there's going to be a lot of consideration what am i going to do how is it going to happen should i do this or should i do that that kind of a feeling might be really heavy Let's see what Lenormand is going to tell you. Garden. And you see expansion. Garden is talking about expansion, honey. Expansion, expansion, expansion. You know, I like how Luna is saying like abundance, abundance, abundance. And I say that for you too. <laughs> the whip. Okay. And the crossroads. There's going to be a decision to make. So you're, you're going to feel extremely passionate when it comes to choices, when it comes to your priorities. You are going to have this chance to make something to your priority and you're going to feel extremely passionate about. You're going to have choices. This is talking about choices. This is talking about choices. And the expansion and the people, all those kind of things. What you're going to deal with next, you are the one who's going to decide. And this week, you're going to have this opportunity to focus on the new things and planning the other stuff, as I said. But you're going to plan everything according to your own wishes and according to your own passion. And it is going to be really effective. It is going to be really, really good. I like it already. I like it. You will have a lot of options. Maybe you didn't have options before. Maybe you were just so rigid. Maybe you were so rigid and you didn't have any kind of an option in your life. You have to work in this job. You cannot leave it. Now you can. You cannot deal with other stuff because you are just like focusing on one thing. You cannot go somewhere else because, I don't know, you don't have money. Or you have like responsibilities to deal with and you have no other option. Now you have option. Now you have your passion. You're going to just focus on yourself and your own passion and you're going to choose for yourself and it could be like more than one thing and it could require a lot of work but you're going to be able to deal with this gift that life is going to bring to you that's what i saw for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next reading bye